sorry, I was just finishing off my protein shake. <laughs> Let me just move this over. How are we all doing this morning? I hope we're feeling well. I'm ready for our box fit class this morning. So it's 45 minutes today. We've probably all been here before. I feel like all my regulars are always here every week. If you are new, just follow along. Really, really simple to follow. We have a, wor a warm up round and then we have our main workout in the middle. We have a little abs class at the end and then cool down. Every single round is five moves and we repeat the main rounds twice. So I will show you what we're doing before every single round and every single move. So all you've got to do is follow along, keep watching, keep listening, and you'll be absolutely fine. If you've been here before and you know what you're doing, you know that you're switching on your core, you're engaging, you're setting your stance, you'll have it all down by now. All you've got to focus on is moving through every single move with as much speed and as much power as you can and make it the best workout you can do. You will need a mat for the abs part at the end of the cool down if you have one. So have that somewhere to the side just now. I don't like putting it out trip over it. Like I've tripped over this stuff a few times. I've got like a lot of real video falling over. So <laughs> this is like now if you're on a hard floor and if you're on your carpet or whatever then you'll be absolutely fine. So we're going to start with our warm up. So make sure you've got some water handy and towel if you want to towel on because you get really sweaty. And we're going to come back for our warm up. So we have five warm up moves. So the first one we're going to do, I'll show you now before I set my timer so you've got it in your head, is a duck and weave. So we have our guard up over our faces and we just duck and weave, duck and weave. So it's almost like a side squat, we've done these in Tabata. So you're moving the weight side to side and then you're bringing that bum down and up in for a little squat. So that's our first move in our warm up. So get ready. We are going in 10 seconds. So feet slightly wider than hips, toes turned out, roll the shoulders back, get that guard up nice and high. In three, two, one. 30 seconds here. So we're just working through our joints. So we're easing off into those knees, opening up the hips, dropping it down as low as you want to go. You can just be here. If you want to be at the top of the move, you can keep it up here or you can bring it down and really push back and go good. Keep that guard up. When I say guard up, I mean hands up, protecting the face. In three, two, one, good, you get 15 seconds rest here. So 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, same as the workout. We're gonna keep that wide stance. We're gonna drop down into our karate punches. So knees tight over toes, let's go. So we're practicing warming up to the shoulders, practicing all those punches. So we bring the elbows in towards the waist and then we turn the fists out front of the body. We can speed it up a little bit. I'm staying mobile through my lower body. Upper body stays still. Brace that four. Good. Three, two, one. Lovely. Bring it up. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah, good. Feel me a little louder today. So we're going to keep that stance. We're going to bring it in a little bit and we're going to go for our squats with a guard. So we drop and squeeze. Let's go. Drop. Squeeze up, drop, squeeze up. So if we come up, we squeeze our glutes in, under the body, and tuck the pelvis. So we're activating the glutes on the way down, and finishing off, keeping them nice and strong and active at the top of the move. Good, keep it going. Warming up, getting those muscles ready for the main workout. Three, two, one, lovely. I'm going to shake out those legs. Coming into our lateral bounce. So we just have one foot forward. I just something right, I'm going to switch it. Right foot forward. And we just bounce it out and then we'll switch halfway around. Here we go. So we're just keeping those heels up and moving side to side through the feet. If that's too much, just keep your toes down and just moving side to side as long as you're aiming that shoulder out. Switch around. So this is on your defense, your defensive moves. So you're being fast, you're being nimble. Three, two, one. Good. Last move to warm up. We use a lot of upper body, a lot of shoulder, a lot of core. We're going to train. We're going to push our elbows up, driving up through the elbow, rotating through that core, side to side. Last move. Here we go. So drive the elbow 
up. Bringing the hands down and then release through that heel and really drive, push through that elbow. Good. Stay with it. Shoulders warming up, freeing that joint. In three, in two, in one. Lovely. You've got a slightly longer rest here. You've got a minute. So grab a drink and I'll show you what we're doing in round one. So our first move as ever in round one is our basic jab and cross. So we have our set stance, feet just under the hip, maybe slightly wider if you want to get a little more flexibility into that waist and those hips. Feet facing forward, roll the shoulders down, brace that core nice and tight and we just jab and cross. So start with the guard, place that fist diagonally over in line with the shoulder, opposite shoulder, and then we speed it up. And we add the power. And the whole time you're bracing that core, you're pulling that navel in, you're tucking that pelvis under. You know if you've been here before that your core and your abs are knackered by the end of this because that is what you engage the whole time. Boxing all comes from the core. So getting ready, roll the shoulders, guard up. Five seconds left of this rest. Here we go. In three, two, one. Punch it out. So chin stays tucked, eyes stay straight ahead. Eyes on the prize. Stay with it. Elbows stay tucked and nice and tight to the body. Hands stay nice and high. Level of your opponent's face into the nose. Sucker punch right in the middle of the face. That's what you're aiming for. In three, two, one. Beautiful. Imaginary skipping ropes. If you've been here before and you know you need one, pick up that skipping rope. We're just going to go for a nice easy skip. This is your first cardio peak. So you want to get that heart rate zooming up into the sky. Whatever skip you want to do, let's go. You can do a single leg, you can do a double. Whatever skip you want to do, you can take it a little bit lower and a little bit slower. But I want your heart rate to rock it. You've only got 20 seconds left. This is your little cardio section. Really, really go for it. Keep pushing, keep breathing. Keep turning that skipping rope in those hands. In three, two, one. Pop it down, you'll lead it back later. To the side, uppercut. Set stance, bracing, rolling. Fist comes up and under. Roll out through that back heel to give you that power. Are you ready? Let's go. So notice how my chin stays tucked, my elbows stay down, close to the body. You're just rolling, rotating that shoulder and bringing the fist up and under. And then you add that power and you think about aiming for your opponent's chin, under the chin, bracing against that chin bone. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Three part kicks coming up. This is a test of your balance. You've got to switch on that core and then we kick low to the side and then high. And then we switch sides. So try and get as fast as you can to help your balance. If you go slow, you've got longer tread balance on that foot. So try and kick it out as fast as you can. If you can't get this high, just kick whatever you feel comfortable. You can stay nice and low. You can tap that foot down in between if you need to and when you kick high we start to lean through the upper body bring that waist down and try and get into a straight line with the body last time good rest we are flying through this last move of round one jumping jacks nice easy jumping jacks star jumps whatever you want to call them your option is a half jack and you step out to the side 30 seconds Cardio peak, second cardio peak. So by increasing that heart rate every so often, we switch on the metabolism, we keep the body thinking, keep the body on its toes, we are gonna burn more fat, and we're gonna keep that um, metabolism turned on when you finish the workout. So we'd like to spike the heart rate and that makes a hit workout. Three, two, one. Beautiful. You are done with round one. Grab a drink. 
Get your breath back. I'm out of breath today. I feel like practice with this. Whew. Round two is coming up. Right, round two. We are starting, shake your legs if you need to by the way. You can shake it off, release in between. We're starting with our hooks. Set stance. We drive our hooks up and in to your opponent's cheekbones. So everything stays the same as your other punches, but this time we lead with the elbow and we drive the fist in and then we add that power and speed, releasing through those heels to help your driving in. Elbows stay nice and high. Easy peasy. You have got 10 seconds left of your rest. Make the most of it. Bring yourself back here. Five seconds. In three, two, one. Here we go. So lifting that heel up, keeping that chin tucked down, eyes straight ahead, focusing, core is braced, and really think about the power here, because you're rotating up through, you can get quite a lot of power into this move. Three, two, one, good. We're bringing it into our lunge kicks, it's our lower body focus. So we're going to step it back, on the right first of all, kicking it out, down and up, and then we'll switch halfway through and work on the left. So set your stance, let's go. 15 seconds on this side, so use those hands to help you for balance, or you can bring them onto the hips. Lunging down, kicking out, working into that front quad. Your, your back leg is your active leg. Switching right. Plant the other leg. Kick. Keep that chest up nice and high. Kicking through the heel. Three, two, one. Good. Lunge kick's done. Cardio peak time. Punch bags overhead. We release those feet like we did in the warm up. And we bring the hands up. Fist over fist. Pummel that punch bag. In three, two, one. So again, you don't want to come up off the ground, just release those heels and work side to side. That's your option, your low impact option. If you want to come all the way, it's a little jump. Keep those hands up overhead nice and high. No cheating, no coming down here. Don't cheat yourself out of it. Hands up nice and high, working those shoulders. Three, two, one. Lovely, cardio peak done. Side kicks. So when you did your three-part kicks, the highest of your three-part kicks is your side kick. So you plant the foot, kick out, and down, other side. So just the top part of that kick. Let's go. And we bring the knee into the bum, and then out, in, out, in, down. And then speed it up. Leaning that upper body. Start to lean it slightly more as you go. As you get confidence and as you get your balance, Kicking out, working on the inside of those legs. Stretching out inside the thighs. Good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good. I have taken out the running man. I know everyone hates those running man. So we're gonna do an adaption. We're gonna go knee in and out. So we're gonna bring the knee in, get your balance, and then push it out, in and out. We're gonna swap sides halfway through. So pick a side and let's go. So this is testing your balance and working your core rather than a cardio. So we drive in, push out. You can tap down if you need to. If you need to tap down for balance and then try and get that foot up, switch sides. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Good, so drive and then add a pull and a crunch when you're ready. And rest. Good, round two. It's done. Round three coming up. Grab your drinks. Stay hydrated. It's warm. It's not that funny, but it's really warm today. Okay, so round three. We are starting with those precision punches. So we start with our right foot forward and we drive through with the left fist and then we rotate and drive with the right fist. So the back fist is coming through every time. Halfway through, we'll just switch 
and go the other way. So you're pivoting front to back with the back fist drawn through, precision punches, nice and light on the feet. Nice easy one to start with. You've got 15 seconds left to stress. What am I going to talk about? <laughs> 10 seconds. So get your set stance. Right foot forward first, left foot comes behind. Nice easy knees. Ready? Let's go. So you've got to kind of punch out as you're rotating. And that's what comes into the precision part of the punches. You've got to know where you're landing your punch as you're rotating through. Good. Switch round. Other foot forward. So back fist drives now. Left foot forward. Right fist drives forward. And then left fist to the back. Three, two, one. Excellent. So we're going to go for a push kick. So a push kick, you bring the foot up and then you push out with the heel and down. So we push and kick. And as you push, you lean back. So imagine it's like kicking the door down if you've ever done that. So let's go. So one side and then the other. So you're leaning back with your torso. I know it looks funny front on for me. Lean back with the torso and kick through that heel. So if you want to imagine you're badass and you're kicking the door down, this is what you would do. So in at the chest and out. Push, kick. Good. So use those hands for balance. You can have them out. Three. One. I know my foot was just coming towards your face there, but I'll turn it aside next time. Good. We're going to go into our sprints. So this is where we do our fast feet. Cardio peak time. You can do high knees or you can sprint it out nice and fast and low. Your option. 30 seconds. Let's go. So if you're doing fast feet, you're tucking in, you're using those arms to help you, and you're just trying to get those feet. Firing off the ground as fast as you can. Your high knee run, you bring it upright and you bring the knees up. So that's your two options. Whatever you prefer. Sorry for the neighbours down below if you have them. If you live in a flat. Three, two, one. Good. We're going to go into those elbow drives. We're just doing single elbow drives this time. So we're going to bounce out to the side as we push that elbow and then we'll switch halfway. So just the elbows to the side. Here we go, 30 seconds. Let's go. So as you step to the side, drive that elbow out. Driving sharp elbow point out as far as you can and switch. Other side. Keeping that other hand up as a guard. Step and drive with that elbow. You are so close. One more move after this. Three, two, one. Power punches. Last move in round three. You know what you're doing. We bring our fist up as we push our foot back. So it's like your sort of Superman punch and you're driving out with the heel. Pin emphasis into those glutes. Let's go. And we just jab with the same fist as we're kicking back. If you need to turn to the side or turn on an angle so you don't kick things behind you, feel free to do that. So you put a little double tap, one to the front, one to the back, body angles forward, three, two, one. Good stuff. All I've got to do is do all that all over again. So we're going back to round one, we're going to repeat. So how are you feeling? Are we feeling good? Can we do all that again? You've done it once. All you've got to do is three rounds. And then we work on our abs and we cool down. So we're halfway through the workout. Do it all again. So you know what you're doing now. I've shown you what you're doing. All you've got to do, work on that power, work on that speed. See if you can stay the whole 30 seconds doing what you're doing. Take a little roll out. A little midway reset. So roll the shoulders. Stretch it up, stretch out those abs. Do we feel more as we get tired? Just give it a little stretch out. Shake out those feet. Shake out those legs. Ready for our jab and cross. Set stance, rolling back, bracing. Three, two, one. Jab and cross. So 
So we're back in. See if you can get a little bit faster. Get those fists wide. Come on, guys. Chin is tucked. Less than 10 seconds. Can we maintain the speed? Three, two, one. Excellent. Get the ropes are coming up. Go for that skip. So we'll try and go a little bit faster than last time. If you stop last time, try and go for 30 seconds. Whatever skip you want to do, I'm going to go for a little double. Double and down. In three, two, one. Again, if anyone has downstairs neighbours, apologies. Good, so maintain, hold me through. 10 seconds down. You're nearly halfway through this round. Keep turning that rope. You want your heart rate as high as it can go. You don't have to hold for long. 10 seconds left, not even. Three, two, one. Throw that way, done with it, till next week. Excellent, upper cuts. Set it down. Driving that fist up and under. Pushing up, shoulders down, arm ready, let's go. So you can slightly run the back here to make sure you're moving up and under. Chin stays tucked, rotating through the midline. Keep driving. In. Three, in two, in one. Nice big one to finish. Shake off the fists. Three bar kicks coming up. Planting that foot. Three kicks and down. Other side again. You'll find it going faster. Looks harder, but it's actually easier. You can keep your balance better. So try and drive nice and fast. You can use those hands. For balance, you can put that back fist out if you want to help counterbalance or keep them up out of the way. And the last one has the most power. So see how high you can get. Really work those inner hips and those hip adductor muscles. Last one. Good. One move left. Cardio peak time again. Jumping jacks, overhead. Option. Is your half jack, stepping out, hands up or hands out, full jacks, coming up, three, two, one. So we step out, jump out, hands come up, make sure those heels land out and in. If you're up on your toes, you're going to overwork that calf and it's going to hurt, so try and drop the heels and then push up through the ball of the foot. One. Excellent. Round one is done. For the second time. Two rounds left. Grab your drinks. Get yourself ready for our hooks. In round two. So we're starting round two again with our hooks. So our set of stands. Nice easy knees. Don't lock anything out when you're working. Stay nice and mobile, nice and easy. Hook again, tuck the chin in slightly, guard stays up, and then placing that punch, opponent's cheekbone, everything here is braced, heel comes up, easy peasy, we know how we do hooks now. After the hooks, we're going into those lunge kicks, and then we've got cardio peak. So box on hooks first, setting our stance, three seconds left, in two, in one, good. So if you want to really work on the aim and getting the move right, you can just keep it nice and slow and controlled. If you think you've got it, just start speeding it up. You don't have to go as fast as me. So if you've been here for a few weeks and you want to try and progress this workout, work a little bit harder, you're going to add that speed. And with the speed comes the power. Three, two, one. Good, lunge kicks. 
So starting, left foot plant is, right foot working, lunging back, kicking out, don't kick too high, just a nice low kick below the knees, fine. Working those quad muscles, front and thigh. Here we go, 15 seconds on this side. And then we switch when you kick, you lean back slightly. Again, using that core to help control. Good, we're gonna switch it now. So dropping. And I want you to really feel on the way down. So dropping as low as you can and we're really feeling it in front of that leg. Don't rush through these. Last one, woo, good. Cardio peak. So we had a love when we hate it, punch bags. Up overhead, releasing through those feet. Drawing up nice and tall to the upper body. Ready, three, two, one. So we keep those arms up nice and high. Then put tension in the shoulders. Shoulders have to work to support those hands overhead. Keep those feet moving. Whatever you're doing on the ground. If that's easier, just go into like a jog. If you have any knee or hip problems, that's an option. Three, two, one. Bring the heart down. Good, we're gonna go to our side kick. So just the top part of our kick. Kicking it out, bringing it back and down. Other side, little active recovery, bring the heart rate down. Test your balance. Let's go. So again, the upper body angles down to help that foot come out. So don't just think you've got to stand up straight and try and kick your leg up. You've got to move the body to bring that foot up in line with the upper body. Full body move. Your glutes are going to feel this inside your legs. Good. One more each side. Good. Where are we now? Uh, knee in and out. Last move here. In, push out, in, push out. Switching sides halfway. So I'm going to plant my left foot as usual. Here we go. 15 seconds on this side. Good. So the upper body comes forward slightly. Try and keep that foot off the ground if you can for balance. Other foot comes forward. The other foot comes down, sorry. Switching. So right foot comes down. You'll find that one leg is more stable than the other. Everyone has one stronger side usually. You can tap it down if you need to. And rest. How was that? One round left before our core. Whew, I'm feeling it today. I think I'm out of breath. Five more moves to work through. And then we work our core and then we cool down. Shake out if you need to shake it out. If you need to release anything in those hips. Release, listen off, shake out those hands. We are starting with our precision punches. So we have our left foot forward, driving with the right fist, turning, keeping that upper body upright, nice and tall. Precision punches, front to back. And then we have our push kicks, which I'll try and move the side so I'm not like kicking out with you. You know, watching your TV, just the big feet come towards you. So, position punches. Left foot forward. Right foot back. Ready to go in three, two, one. Good. So, landing that jab. Nice and high. You'll notice the guard stays up. The more you do this, the better habit you'll have of keeping that guard up. Switching. So, now the left fist comes forward. From the back, you're pushing through from the back fist. Three, two, one. Good. Push kicks. We're going to start wherever side you want to start on, and you push up through the heel and you lean back. Push kick. So it's like a dynamic move. Here we go. 30 seconds. Push kick. And then swap round. You don't have to go as high as this even, you could push it down if you want to just start practicing, leaning the upper body back, push, kick. 
So it's a really dynamic, explosive move. Knee has to work and the hip has to work. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Good. They need a little bit of practice. They're not easy to get first time. If you feel like you didn't quite get it, next time you'll be better. Sprints, cardio peak, running, high knees, fast feet, whatever you want to do. 30 seconds. Just don't stop. So whatever you've chosen, just don't stop. Switch your mind off. Don't stop to tell you to. Halfway through. Keep working. Keep moving. Come on, guys. Three, two, one. How did that feel? Did you finish? Woo. Keep breathing. Nice deep breath. Elbow drives. Right side first. Stepping and driving, halfway through, switch to the left, easy peasy. Three, two, one. We're stepping out as we drive that elbow. Someone's coming up beside us. Guard stays up on the other side. And switch. Seamless. Good. So you're really pushing out. Strong and powerful. Elbows are a weapon. Three, two, one. Love it. One move left. Power punches. Let's really add as much power as we can. Driving through the back, through the front at the same time. 30 seconds. Here we go. So you can take a little jump off the ground if you want to really finish off strong and powerful. If not, you just keep that foot down and drive as fast and as powerfully as you can. Or add that jump, making it dynamic and explosive. Those are our keywords for today. One more each side. Rest. The main part of your workout is done. All we've got left is five moves down on the ground, on the floor. With our core and our abs, they should be feeling it already. I've been telling you, boxing drills, boxing workouts, our core workout. You need your core switched on the whole time. And even without realizing it, you've been training those abs the whole way through. Whew. So our first move, down on the core as ever. We come down into our crunch position. So we have our shoulder blades pressing into the mat, lower back pressing in. So from here, pedal to pedal this, so the lower back is flush to the mat. Knees are bent, we come up on the shoulder blades, squeeze in the core, punch, punch, and down. So a little double punch, crunch, double punch, crunch. It's a good word. Let's go. So really squeezing that navel nice and tight, pressing that lower back into the mat and when you come up you're feeling it in the upper abs. So you can stay here the whole time when you get stronger. So if you want to challenge yourself, stay up all the way. If you need to come back down, come back down and as you get stronger you can stay up and rest. Good. We are coming up into our V-set. So we're pushing into the lower abs. So we V-set, we come back until we feel the switching on here. And then we're just going to cycle those knees and pass that tennis ball under the knees. 30 seconds, let's go. So try and keep the feet up off the ground. Chest stays high, looking straight ahead. If you need to tap down in between, that's your option. But see if you can try to stay up at the top. Keep leaning back. This is really hurting in your lower abs. That's how you know you're switched on and you're doing it right. Keep squeezing. Three, two, one. Woo. Give that a little break. We're going to work on our full core. We're going to go into our uh, plant dips. So holding the low plant, we're going to dip side to side. 
push on that hip down, let's go. So dipping side to side, if that's too much, just hold your plank. So bum is down, we're not up here, we're not down here, we're nice and flat. And then if you can, use your oblique to dip from side to side. My head is off camera, I hope you can hear me. Three, two, one. Knees down. That's a really, really tough one. If you just held your plank, that's absolutely fine. That's a new one I've had it in, and it's hard. We're going to come into our supermans. So hands and knees, off to the hand and foot. 30 seconds, let's go. So this is like the more slow and controlled. You want to get your hand and your foot parallel with the ground. You need your abs to help you with your hands and your butt muscles to help you bring that foot up. So, little double, core and glutes. Good. Last move. Are you really, really feeling it? You've only got one more to go. Work into the obliques, the sides of the waist. We're going to bring the knees up and we're just going to tap side to side on the heels. Here we go. So again, we're coming up into that shoulder blade off crunch. Switching on, push the lower butt into the mat and then we rotate through the upper body just to tap those heels. If you want to make it harder, push the heels slightly further away. If you can't hold, bring them down and tap down on the ground. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Lie down on your mat, hands overhead. Stretch out those abs. You're going to think about pushing your toes and your hands away from each other. Think about pulling the ribs up and pushing the hips down. So you're lengthening and stretching through the upper body. You're going to stay there for three deep breaths. I'm going to put my cool down music on. Every week I have a disaster with my cool down music. But I think I've sorted it now. So once you've taken three deep breaths, you're going to bring it up nice and slow into a kneeling position. We're going to bring one foot forward. We're just going to tuck under and drop the weight into that front hip. So we're stretching out. So you should feel it in that back hip. Tuck the pelvis under. Bring the opposite hand up. So a little double stretch here. Just release through the upper body if you need to. So you feel like you're feeling that stretch. And then other side. Other foot comes forward. So tucking under and then dropping the weight. I see people coming away down here. Don't need to do that, we're not in a lunge. We're just opening up to the hips. So try and keep it more upright and just so you feel it just in that hip crease. Other hand comes up. Need to release through the neck or release through the upper body. You don't have to hold it static, you can just get into a nice stretch position so you feel the tension. Good. Coming back into our knees, we're going to try and think about again, tucking under, bringing the ribs down so we're nice and strong to the middle. We're going to bring one arm over, stretching out the shoulders. And then other side. Good, so release that shoulder, shoulders work hard all those kind of high punches. And then bring the tricep up and round. So push down gently through the elbow, release through the upper arm. Trying to keep those ribs tucked so don't flare them up. Try and keep them tucked under, upper body nice and strong. Getting and stretching into the forearms. So just bring the hand out and just gently tuck back on the palm of the hand, just to release that muscle on the forearm. Sometimes you're clenching a punch you can feel it quite tight in the arm. And then other side, just releasing, just gently tugging back until you can feel that forearm start to release. Give it a little shake out, release that fish, release those fingers, get the blood flowing again. We're going to bring it up to standing, nice and slow. You can hold on here if you need to, grabbing the back foot 
and stretching out that quad. So once your knee comes up, you're gonna try and bring the knees together and then bring the hips forward. And as soon as you go from here to here, you're gonna feel it in the front of that leg. Right down the front of the thigh, stretching out, other side. So from here, knees in, tuck the hips. Oh, instantly you feel it in the front. You know when you're getting it. Nice stretch here. And then we're gonna bring it into the hamstrings. So we're gonna bring one foot forward, one foot back. Straightening up that front leg, weight comes into the back, and then just lift up that toe. And again, from here, not feeling much. Here, you feel up that hamstring muscle. And then other side. So we drop back, weight onto the back leg. Are you ready to feel it? Feeling it in the hamstring. So just by raising that toe, you activate into that muscle and stretch it out, easing off so it's not going to be stiff or sore tomorrow. And then bring it up, hands out, stretch the chest. Bring the hands up overhead and just release through that spine. Just rocking it side to side. You can circle it, opening up through the upper back. And then give yourself a big round of applause as ever. That was really good work today. If you enjoyed that, drop me a little comment, say hi, give me a wave, give me a like. I will see you all next week, next Monday, I'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday for Tabata at 10.30 and then next week for BoxFit again. 10.30 on a Monday, best way to start your week. Thank you so much for joining, enjoy the rest of your day. Go and have a nice cold drink, have a shower and I'll see you on Wednesday.